Hi everyone, Slow from TrainingEngine.com, so we got for gold and silver price for May 7th to the 11th and a short recap for April 30th to May 4th. So let's get started. So what happened last week? Gold and silver prices didn't do much on a weekly scale, as I'll show you in the next slide. But for the meantime, let's see what are the, some of the reports that may have affected both commodities prices and also forex markets. The US manufacturing PMI rose to 54.8%. This means that the manufacturing in the US is not only growing at it's not only growing but also growing at a, as a slightly faster pace this might have been among the factors to pull down a little bit gold and silver prices during the week there's the u.s unemployment claims that fell to 365,000. this news was also one of the factors that may have pulled down again bullion prices but then on friday the u.s employment claims the u.s sorry the u.s employment report came out in which the non-farm payroll rose by only 150,000. This was another disappointing report as a, and even a showed the lower numbers than in the previous report. And this was probably among the factors to drag down go a crude oil prices and also the US stock market, but helped rally a little bit bullion prices. This, uh, this chart shows the development of gold and silver prices normalized to the previous week of April 27th. As you can see, both gold and silver prices didn't do much on a weekly scale and slightly declined and only to rally on Friday. As you can see, by the end of the week, the gold price declined a little bit under 1% and silver uh, underperformed gold and declined by nearly 3%. Okay, so what should we expect for the upcoming week of May 7th to the 11th? Bear in mind that on Sunday there's the elections in France and also in the, par the par parliament elections in Greece. So this may, this event, these two events may may affect not only core, uh, forex markets but also commodities markets as well throughout the week. So it will be interesting to see how these events will pan out and have an effect on these markets. Okay, so there's on Monday the Germany fact German factory orders report. This could indicate the progress of German economy and consequentially may affect foreign exchange, including the euro and commodities and commodities as well. Last time the manufacture the factory orders rose by 0.3%. Australian trade balance report, the Aussie dollar is strongly linked with uh, commodities prices including gold and silver prices. And the adjusted balance of goods and services declined during the previous report to a, to a 480 million deficit for February 2012. The exports of non-monetary non gold sharply rose by 365 million. If the gold exports will change direction and decline in the upcoming uh, report for the Australian trade balance, it may suggest a drop in demand for non-monetary gold and could explain part of the sharp decline in gold and silver prices throughout the, la the last uh, couple of months. ECB President Draghi will give a speech. Following the ECB rate decision to keep it unchanged at 1%, Mario Draghi will give a speech on uh, Tuesday. It may include the recent events in Europe and he may also refer to ECB's monetary plan. If he will refer to, the implementing, to, to implementing another LTRO pro program, this may influence the euro, the euro and consequently also might have a little bit of effect on commodities prices. On Wednesday, the, the US will issue another 10-year bond auction. It will be interesting to see how it will pan out and if it will have any effect on the forex and commodities markets. On Thursday, they have several reports, including China's trade balance report. According to the previous report, China's trade balance changed direction from a 305 billion deficit to 5.4 billion surplus. If the export will rise, it may indicate that China's econo economic growth is rising and thus may positively affect prices of commodities. Great Britain, there's the bank rate and also the purchase plan. Bank of England will decide on its basic rate for May and the progress of its pur of its asset purchase plan. As of April, the rate remained flat at the 0.5% and the asset purchase plan at 325 billion pounds. The American trade balance report, this will be one of the of the major events of the week, the, the publications that may have an effect on forex and commodities markets. This monthly report will, uh, for, uh, in the previous report for March, um, the imports of 
it will show the imports and exports of goods and services to and from the U.S., including commodities. In the previous report for February, the goods and services deficit decreased during the month to $46 billion. The U.S. jobless claims weekly update. They were referred for the week ending of April 5th. In the previous report, as I've said earlier, the, the jobless claims declined to 365,000. If this trend will continue, it may strengthen the U.S. dollar, and consequently, gold and silver prices uh, might uh, might uh, trade down a little bit. This is one one of uh, the events that may also have an effect, and it will be it's a big question mark because sometimes Bernanke's speeches uh, have a substantial effect on the market, and sometimes they don't have any effect at all. So. This time, the, after the FOMC meeting on April, the chairman will give a speech regarding the U.S. banking. The title of the speech is Banks and Bank Lending, the State of Play. If we'll hint of another quantitative easing, obviously, I think that there is little to no chance that he'll uh, refer to that. But again, I don't know what traders might perceive from uh, his uh, speech, but again, if you'll refer to it and uh, make a big uh, make some announcements or some uh, uh, additional analysis on the US economy that didn't uh, that wasn't included in the previous press release of the in the press conference uh, back in the end of April it may have an effect on forex and commodities markets on friday there's the canada's employment report in the previous report was very positive the unemployment edged down by 0.2% to 72%, and the employment sharply rose by 82,000. The upcoming report might affect the Canadian dollar, which is strongly linked with gold and silver prices. And finally, the U.S. producer pr price index will also will also be published on um, on Friday. This index for finished goods remained unchanged in the previous report compared with February's rate and rose by 2.8% in the past 12 months. This news might affect the development of gold and silver prices, considering that both gold and silver are strongly linked with the, the, the news of the US PPI. Okay, that's it for now. For more than gold and silver, you're welcome to check out my blog at tradingnrg.com. Thank you for listening and have an excellent week.